couple more features that I want to talk about is you know using a dictionary the feature okay let's um, zoom it in blow it up a little bit um, so let's say several just keep pressing it and then you know gives me the new Oxford American dictionary right, I'm gonna bring it closer to you so that it's a little clearer All right that's one then you could um, you could let's say I want to highlight the whole paragraph I just keep my finger highlight it got highlighted then another thing you could do is you know add annotate something let's move forward and you know let's select sorry uh, let's what's up okay sorry for some reason my swiping action took it back um, so I suppose okay and then I could add a note okay. for example okay if I was you know studying for an exam exam uh, you know I could say exam you know some kind of note right and then it would show up like that and if I click it the note would open up right so that's that can be a useful feature and then here you know the menu bar brings up these different options I think pressing this would take you back meaning it would uh, take me to the home page let's see if that's correct yeah it, it takes me to the home page because that's where you know I was but then I can go back to the place I was by going there right and then so basically tapping on there opens up this menu bar and then as I said earlier you know you could change uh, the, the font style etc or you could also straight away you know want to go to let's say you want to go to the cover page you know you could go to cover right and um, I guess with certain books not all features are available uh, for example you know, so what happens if I should go to the same place right so if I open it and you would see that table of contents is not selected here uh, that's because not all books have all features I guess and this being a free book or you could also go to a you know straight away to a particular page if you know of right and you cancel that